to the Boston College for the best in women's college basketball. Today, the Boston College Eagles host Eastern Kentucky. It's field trip day, and get ready for lots of fun and energy from the big crowd. Oh, Aquinta, we couldn't have done it any better ourselves. Awesome. Welcome to field trip day at Boston College. Take a look at Danielle Rainey as well. She's coming off of a double-double at Northern Kentucky. Meanwhile, for Boston College, this has been the five, Eric, for over a month now, and it has been a very prolific starting five for Coach Joanna Burnaby McNamee. Yeah, we talked about Andrea Daly being moved into the starting lineup, and uh, she is certainly taking advantage of the Eagles right now, of course, without Tiana Todd, so Daly's become even more important. Off and running, good morning to you. Thanks for being with us here. ACC Network Extra coverage of ACC basketball. Second chance on the opening possession for BC. And a zone defense look for Eastern Kentucky. Big reason for that zone, Eric. They want to protect inside against Maria Gekting, and that one worked very well. Yeah, you're going to see a lot of doubles as we've talked about in the non-conference, and there's an offensive foul away from the ball. Austin College coming off of a 12-point win against Albany Saturday. The game they trailed early, and their point guard, Faina Mayer, got into foul trouble in the first quarter of that game, but BC was able to withstand her absence for the remainder of the first half. Three-point shot chucked up. That's Emma Hacker back into the starting lineup. And on the run, it's Daly. Didn't hit anything, but JoJo Lacey had a second chance. A bit of a sloppy start each way. Well, one thing we are seeing from the start, though, is kind of how this game is going to play out. As there's a nice take, better defense by Wagner, but does commit the foul for a while before BC pulled away. Came over from Moorhead State. To talk to us about... Her years there as a grad assistant. Gekdang finally able to snap the scoreless streaks. One of the better three-point shooters statistically in the country. Yeah, and it's such a nice addition to have her back after the transfer, being able to play her second semester. There's a good three from the corner. They had switched up their front court in that game with Hacker coming in late and, of course, the injury to Antoinette Walker. 11 a.m. early start. An offense at a premium here in the opening, just about four minutes. Hacker tries another. Two in a row. Nice turnaround from about 18 feet out for Emma Hacker. So he was able to step out, take the jumper. And that time it's ripped right out of the hands of Maria Gekting by Hacker. Fourth turnover against Boston College. Hacker on the interior, plus the foul. Hacker, a personal 7-0 run well what a start to this game hacker certainly had her coffee and more really good cut you see the defense kind of just holds out and it's a, a great cut for hacker to sneak in behind off of the screen this is a interior player who coming in averages only seven points a game 15 to 5 at one point Austin College trying to find some offense so they brought in Kayla Lozama Boston College would love to get Van Timmeren going a little bit. He said the traditional sixth player off. And averaging about four points a game is an extra piece off the bench. And the lefty hits them both. Snaps that eight-point run for the Colonels. Talked about it earlier. This is the first matchup ever between these two programs. Interesting non-conference game. Eastern Kentucky is going to be at Army on Sunday. So they are coming up north here this week. Running bank shot. How about that one thrown up by Bridget Fox? Crafty move. I mean, a lot of these, really, the moves have been pretty impressive. These are not uh, high-value shots. I mean, they are difficult. Mayor for Boston College from the perimeter. The freshman able to knock it down from distance. That's the next step for her as a point guard to be able to take the shot when she needs to as well as her ability to dish and to create turnovers which she's done incredibly well in her freshman year and now we're starting to see the scoring piece. There's the jumper for two by Danielle Rainey. Van Timmeren kept the pivot foot. Lazama finds Daly for three. Alice Reconati. Sophomore out of Italy, turned it over. Daly anticipated and has a two-on-one. Daly all the way. 
Octavia Wagner, best in the nation in steals. And normally, Reconati takes care of the ball very well. That three-point shot for Mackins, that is what she does. Told you, she can light it up from long range, and Marissa Mackins hitting on her first triple attempt. Well, they're just taking advantage of a little bit of openings that the defense is presenting for Boston College and continuing to hit shots six of eight, 75% from the floor. Including six in a row, they missed their first two. To answer, Lacey! Boston College starting to heat it up. Eagles have gotten more chances, a lot of those with offensive rebounds, but KU has taken advantage of their chances. That time, Fox met resistance in the form of Andrea Daly, and then it's thrown away by Kirkwood. Home run pass, Wagner. Got it back, and one, Dontavia Wagner counted. If you fall for it once, don't fall for it again, and the Eagles didn't on that move by Bridget Fox, trying to come back with her left hand. Daly and Gakdang snuffed it out well, and then again, it's a second effort, but it counts the same as Wagner gets the bucket and the N1 opportunity. And it's almost like you could see the look on Dontavia's face as if to say, finally, she missed her first four shots in this game. Rims out first or second scoring option. So you have to learn how to play in games like this where you miss the first couple of layups. You don't see it go through the basket early. And how do you still find your way to get points? That is Danielle Rainey playing volleyball with itself off the rim. And Daly misses. I mean, the Eagles now with 10 offensive rebounds. It was a good idea there by Wagner to go right back inside because there was a size advantage there with Daly. Fox releasing it. Reconati had it ripped out of her hands. Taina there caused the turnover, and Wagner gets the breakaway layup. Reconati that time got the step, couldn't finish. And Mayer got fouled in the backcourt. When you go on the drive late in the timer, it allows your help defense to come over and really guard the paint. Gives Mayer two at the line. Recognizing it as that first quarter went on. Atkins well off. And Mayer with the rebound and some momentum the other way. Pulls the trigger. Well, Josh has kind of taken over this game here for Boston College. Seven points, four rebounds, couple of steals. Wagner finds Lozama, and she'll get two free throws. We showed you the steal at the end of the first. A couple of times, anticipating, creating another turnover. She has really sparked this run. And what is it? intended to do it's take away Maria Gecting from the interior another steal by Wagner and she'll get her way to the foul line in the paint so far 10 fast break points they've got an offensive rebound including the one that set up this opportunity and she has given BC a two-point lead Eagles already had been kind of having to do it without Gecting now you wonder how the defense adjusts for Eastern Kentucky with Gecting likely on the bench for the majority of the rest of this first half. Hacker. And it was the player who really started them off strong. Emma Hacker now into double figures with 11. Ben Timmeron caught the lob and finishes inside. Bear this time takes the jumper that Emma Hacker got a hand on. Yeah, Jojo Lacey deserves a lot of credit for stepping into the point guard role, playing really well and in a game that BC was trailing at that point against you, Albany, but managed to come back despite not having their point guard on the floor. Putting it on the floor, Kalissa Lacey, nice drive. Has gotten to the line really well this year. Their throw attempts on the season. Empty trip. Into the game for the first time for BC, Ava McGee grabbed the defensive rebound. And the Eagles hold with a one point lead against that Colonel zone. There, lets it fly. And a three again, Taina Mayer. This time, Ariel Kirkwood took it in and had it taken away. McGee, Mayer had it knocked away, but saved by Van Timmeren. Wagner, drive and dish, Mayer, two in a row. Yes, sir! Job by Mayer, recognizing that the three-point shot was open. She has taken advantage, now a steal. Speaking of what a job, the Italian tries against Mayer. Mackins lets it fly. The lid is still on the basket for the Colonels. I mean, even there, Mayer got a piece of it. I know it wasn't a steal, but 
took EKU out of sequence on that offensive possession. Bear, free to fire for two. Colonels have hit just one shot this quarter. McGee for three. But Van Timmeren called for pushing off. I feel like they can win basketball games. College athlete Daniel Rainey hits the first. Bear now has 12 of the 22. This 22 to 5 stretch. BC doing this of late with Gakdang on the bench with two. Daly sees the C part. It's not that EKU hasn't been able to break it. I mean, that's a good shot. They just haven't made it. Yep. Total opposite of what we saw for about the first eight or nine minutes of the game. Wagner. She's got a two-point jump shot. Dontavia Wagner now with 10. Sorry, Josh. By the way, Eagles are shooting 53% from the floor in this second quarter after struggling early on in the game. Hacker has been the offense for Eastern. And Emma Hacker hits another three. She has hit three threes. Mayer responds. She's hitting those with regularity. Look out, ACC. Tough shot. Kaver Freeman couldn't hit. But even whether it's a three, whether it's a two, it was great job in this first half just knowing, all right, my team needs a basket here. Let me find a way to get it. Ben Timmeren, nice pass. Wagner, front rim. And that is not going to count. Half ended before Wagner put it through the net. And it'll be a 12-point lead for Boston College heading into halftime. At the NCAA level, it's really a special thing to kind of expose these athletes to different communities across the world. Second half underway. Glad you could be with us here as we've moved into the lunch hour. ACC Network extra coverage of ACC basketball. Turnover there. Daly threw it right to Hacker. Hacker may have gotten away with steps, but Daly erased her shot regardless. Well, whether she got away with steps or not, she did not get away with the second sort of double clutch, and Boston College was able to collapse defensively. And the largest lead of the contest balloons to 14. Mackins finds the range. Conference play, that'll be a nice advantage for her to already be familiar with a lot of the opponents. Lacey on the miss. And take a look at this EKU team playing without its best player statistically, Antoinette Walker. Trying to win on the road against a power six opponent. Players coming in off the bench, and Kayla immediately fires. Octavia Wagner got the contact, shot got blocks. Not always going to be the high percentage game, but already closing in on their season average uh, despite that slow start. This to both. Boston College, Atkins, double teamed. Hacker lets it fly. Kirkwood inside. She's got the last four. Snuck in behind to make the play off the offensive rebound. It's the third offensive rebound of the game for Eastern Kentucky. DC is out. Offensive rebounding EKU 12-3. Kirkwood averages six points a game. As I mentioned, she's got their last two baskets though. Daly against the double found Van Timmeren at the rim. Boston College by 11 with possession. Daly spinning. Finishing. Whistle state. Pull up in the mid-range. Mayer hit that shot a few times in the first half. 11-point game. Reconati. It's almost like she heard me. Pull up three. Mayer. Number four. Long range for Tiana Mayer. She has returned as Reconati rims one out from 15. Eastern Kentucky losers of three straight. BC winners of seven out of nine. Almost like it's been a roulette wheel in the last few years in college athletics. Conference changes aplenty. And then Walker missing a second game in a row. Coming in the transfer portal has added a new dimension to the college game. But she has 
taking control of what Eastern Kentucky does offensively, and it is a loss not to have her. So that breakaway there, good press break, and Kalissa Lacey got an easy two. Her first pair of points in the game there, able to answer again. She loves that spot of the... And now it's Kalissa Lacey running the floor, unable to finish at the rim on the other end. McGee with the rebound for BC with a lot of contact. Mayer, the pass. Lacey, the finish. He was first in the ACC at seven assists per game. That's a clean strip on Reconati. It's Mayer again. Filling up the stat sheet. Today she's got three helpers in addition to those career-high 22 points. Lacey got away with maybe a charge and she'll get the assist right there in ACC play. I do think it's exciting though to see some new teams kind of up there in the top 10. I mean, how many years as we talked about it, it's locking foul against BC. So you're going to get some of these ACT C's teams. Lacey hits the front rim. The other thing is BC is, Wagner almost had another steal. They've been in such a nice little comfortable stretch struggling from the floor early. That's really all you can ask for. This is Rainey on a three. She had hit one late in the third quarter. Rainey has 11, one of two Colonels in double figures. Mayer's 22 leads a pair of Eagles that have scored more than 10 points. Wagner, she's got 12. Lazama was fouled, and that shot had been for Boston College. And the Eagles dealing with the eight healthy bodies, so it's big to have Lazama back, and, and she's going to get some opportunity. Try to dish. Reconati finding Hecker. She's been the player of the day for Eastern Kentucky and had that one just spill off the iron. Pull up, pull up. Oh, shot just over a minute into the fourth quarter, Daly hit and foul. To put Daly in, and it's allowed Boston College to go on a run. We're talking about Andrea Daly. She had scored in double figures each of the first four games of this homestand. Now she's up to seven here this afternoon. A chance to make it five in a row with at least ten points. Good delivery. Elizabeth Kitley, who's one of the best players in the country. They're missing, but Wagner cleans it up after the scrum for the rebound. Coming into this game, it was an interesting point guard matchup with Alice Reconati going up against the rookie mayor. And it has been a one-sided matchup decisively. It's a jumper for two. Lizama was in perfect position and a little miscommunication, but it ended up working out okay. Van Timmeren on the spin cycle. Counted and the foul. Step out at times. She hasn't had the three-point shot this year, but this work in the paint. So playing in the league will help make that adjustment a little bit easier. So now all of a sudden you feel like you have to be that top scoring threat versus, you know, what she could be as a shooter as sort of a yin and yang with Walker. That time she drew the contest. Police off the dribble. And you think that maybe the two out of 11, a lot of that could be due to rust. Mayer leading the break. Fouled on a shot that didn't drop. Good day's work though for Fox with those nine points. The starting lineup today. One for two. It's special when you get to go up to West Point. Wagner almost had that. Kept it in bounds on the sideline right in front of us, but then back into the hands of Emma Hacker. And a foul on Lacey. I'd go with the latter. Right. Emma Hacker, a couple of free throws. 19 points. Daly with a step. Tried to feed it through traffic, though, and that got stolen. Reconati. Finds the streaking Rainey to the basket. Eastern Kentucky is outscoring BC in the fourth quarter, 10 to nine. It's not been the greatest close thus far for Coach McNamee. There is the way to close. BC the rebound and Van Timmeren lets it fly. Rebound Lacey. And the BC is back in front, back halfway down again for Van Timmeren. Coach Mackey was trying to encourage her, hey, that's a good shot. And the Eagles are trying to find that shooting touch again from Van Timmeren from deep this year. Atkins, right? Has made only one three-pointer this season. There. Minute 40 to go as Kirkwood grabs a rebound for the Colonels.
Another one, the fourth three-point. Full court press, trailing by 12. There, riding the Valley Collet on her, got it up to Gaktang, right at the rim for two. It might have even fouled for Eastern Kentucky. The Eagles have struggled at the line. I mean, we talked about early, they were eight of nine, but I mean, they're just four for their last 11 at the foul line, so. Eastern Kentucky can find a basket here. You wonder if you just kind of foul and see if you can play it out. They did find it. A tough start on a morning tip. Turned into a big effort in the middle quarters. And Boston College is 9-4. and four. Back into ACC play against Georgia Tech on Sunday. Following consecutive non-conference wins.